this uh, the OTP to the swagger. Let's go to the swagger. Yep, let's go to the swagger. But I don't know which one is. You see this? Now you go back again. Okay. So you need to ask the, the developer okay, which API I need to use, which is the history I need to use to send the OTP, verify the OTP. So you see that there is a API verify the OTP. So click it, verify OTP. Look at this. There is two things is asking here. Try it out. Yeah, try it out. OTP and the email. So it has to be Sabrina's email and she received the OTP. So go ahead, pass the both. See API testing. 657, and it has to be a hard email ID. You can get it from the postman. So see the email, email is her email, the email she actually sign up. So now you see, now you do the execute again, try it out. You see, look at this, stay there, that we got the curl command, we got the token, that's the we'll talk. Pratik is here, Pratik will talk. So you see this, we can take this curl command again. Okay, take it, go to the postman again. Now we are going to, actually we are going to create another collection now. We are going to create another collection. In this case, it will be verify OTP. You can do multiple way. You can add in the same one, but I'm going to create another collection as a, okay, US 235 is the story. As a buyer, I should be able to verify OTP request. It should be buyer, um, buyer portal, no. This no, should be. Wording will be changed now. Everything is going to be changed. Hello. Buyer no. verify OTP, this should be yeah. the. Uh, yeah, but I will say as a buyer, okay. we'll be talking as an English language, the actor. Buyer. As a buyer, I mm -hmm. should be able to verify the OTP. Right? On my registered email. You see this? I'm actually changing the word. The way I did it, I am just I'm just explaining the same thing. This kind of things you are exceeding the expectation. If you just say the everything black and white, oh, you are not the quality engineer then. You are like the everybody like the same. Okay. Add folder again the positive, again the negative. Again, I do different for each group. So they will say, why is doing the different? That's what we do here. Positive, negative. See, we're designing, right? It's not that difficult, but everything is based on the understanding. So we are going to the Actually, this one will be negative now because we cannot do anymore. That's the reason she selected negative folder because you already verified with the OTP. Okay, so you paste it again, raw text and paste it and then continue. What happened here? Can you go copy again? Yeah. So you have to go copy, copy here, go here, paste it here, continue. Import it and then give the name. Name is different now. You have to save it. Save, save. Save. Click save and give the name. But name. this is saving in the uh... positive folder. So change it to the negative folder. Oh, you go back to the buyer portal. Go back on the beginning, beginning, beginning. Beginning. Where folder. it says save, save to buyer portal. Yes. yes. Exactly. See, she negative. forgot it. So she's practicing now. That's good for her. Okay, so negative testing now. You see this? Now we are going to change the naming also. We're giving the same title. The title we actually give them in the beginning, right? As a buyer, I should not be able to use the OTP. What will be the? For the registered email account. The, exactly the, the behavior, you are just explaining the behavior is not the artificial English exactly the the behavior so if you try now you see everything is here see the crawl command now try it it will be negative testing look at this see expired, OTP expired because you already used it or zero one it should have said if you ask me it should have said otp has been used but otp expired also correct exactly no yeah 400 is all authentication so you see this 
the because we know the requirements, that's the reason we can go back and forth. But if you try, okay, 